feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Sometimes ask Peter nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, BriceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Yeah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. What's popping with the population? Yeah, smell like money. Let's make some. So, Calico, salute to Calico and everything that he's got going on. has been ruffling some feathers in the battle rap culture. He's been talking his shit. You know how Calico does. Uh, he made his song, WWF. I ain't got no problems with no motherfucking battle rappers. Not no real ones. Man, I used to do this for fun. Uh, it, you know, it, it, the song is like 50-50. You got some people that are rocking with the track, other people that's like, yo, it's not really that good. Uh, I saw Goods talking about it, I saw Surf talking about it. Uh, one thing I do say is that he's got reaction and people are talking about it. He did say um, about Tay Rock because he was taking shots at Tay Rock at Briz, things like that. And he said he, he put out a tweet um, last night about Tay Rock responding. All I know is that is this. Tay Rock said he was going to respond dropping a song four days ago. You know what I'm saying? He basically said Tay Rock was going to drop a song four days ago, and um, Tay Rock never came out with a song. But I think Tay Rock was kind of joking, I guess, with what he said as far as now I got to respond because Tay Rock took it like, oh, now I got to respond because he heard the track and was probably trying to say it wasn't that good. So Tay Rock then posted on Instagrams today saying that, uh, wait, 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 Calico, you really thought I was going to respond when I said now I got no choice to respond? You took that literally. Boy, that song is bullshit, and I got a response waiting for you that ain't never happening. So, I, and I would body you on beat just like I did when we battled. Nigga, you high? When you see me, you're going to shake my hand. Why would I want to rap battle on a beat with you? F out of here. There's your response, and Nunu, I've been seeing a lot of funny shit from you. How you friends with my baby mom and call me your bro, but be liking all this fuck shit. This is why I don't F with people. Basically saying, cause she said something like, he gonna drop something, but it wasn't a response like we thought, whatever the case may be. Um, so this is all off of Calico dropping the WWF record. Uh, Calico's been ruffling feathers. He said some things about T-Top in that battle. I'll play his live. It's like a live stream, like five minutes. I'll play it at the end of this joint where he basically was like, he's never battling T-Top. They tried to insinuate it like he was scared to battle him. And he said that, you know, for, for the price that you wanted me to battle him for in two weeks, that just was not going to happen. And basically said he's never interested in battling him. He also spoke about uh, Easy to Block Captain. He said, I told... Beasley give me easy to block captain and he keep thinking I'm playing. I went and watched dude cause he said he was the real voice of the streets in that trailer. Dude nice, I can't front though he might have beat top. Saying that easy to block captain might have beat T-Top. Uh, you know there's a lot of people that are saying that T-Top backed out of the battle whatever the case. T-Top said he got some shit going on with his family. Battling Easy to Block Captain on two weeks notice wouldn't have been good anyway because Easy to Block Captain is hungry, like very hungry. This motherfucker wants to rap now. I wouldn't have battled Easy to Block Captain on two weeks notice, so I don't really blame you for not taking the battle for whatever the case may have been and not doing it because, dog, he probably would have went crazy on you. I'm just saying. It's too, it's too much of a risk to take an Easy to Block Captain on little to no... Rehearsal time or practice time. Practice? You talking about practice? Not the game. Not the game that I dedicate. That practice? Yeah, you need that because Easy Black Captain, you've seen what he did versus Cortez, right? You've seen what he did versus Danny Myers, right? Easy to Black Captain is head and shoulders above everybody else. It is what it is. I mean, there's other people doing their things. Other people is having good battles and shit like that. That's rookies. And I will say this about this rookie class. This rookie class is solid. This is a very, very, very solid class. It's one of the better ones because there's very few weak links. Everybody that they putting out there is showing up, is bringing their A game. Well, just about everybody, not Yana. Yana, I don't really count him because he just be freestyling and shit like that. That nigga have, he'll have like half a round. Then this nigga just freestyles. He's mad entertaining though. So like, he's mad entertaining. He's got star power, you know what I'm saying? Like he has the ability to become something good. But I think that he's probably like P or one of them cousins and shit because he get booked for all these battles and he don't really win none. 
and the nigga just be free. I'm just going off topic, you know, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, he, he he ain't really like that. So if you want to say weak link, I don't really want to call him a weak link because he's not a finished product. But if he was to come with three rounds, he would be good. But he just, he just, he's in his Charlie Clips bag when Charlie Clips was in the Charlie Clips bag. But he ain't made it to where Charlie Clips is at. So it's kind of like, he's a, he's, he's discon, he's, He's discontinued. He's not. He's not. He's not finished yet. But anyway, uh, back to easy the black captain. Phenomenal MC brings it every trip, and he's gonna wild on you. And now you got Calico basically saying that he would take easy the black captain. I tell you what, if easy the black captain was to only was to just battle T Top and Calico, that nigga would be automatically mid mid tier up there. He he's gone. He'd be gone, 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 gone. He would be leaps and bounds ahead of um a lot of the other MCs. And this just shows that you got to give it 100% effort every time you go out there. Like, Easy the Black Captain gives it 110% every time he goes out there. Kid Chaos gives it 100% every time he goes out there. Uh, Real Sick, 100% every time he goes out there. Uh, Lou Castro's, these guys, and there's, and there's others too, you know what I'm saying? Fonz, there's a lot of guys that give it 110%, but you see with giving it your all, not choking, not stumbling, not coming with no bullshit gets you. You know what I'm saying? It gets you moved, it gets you put in front of cameras, it gets you that acclaim. You got guys from other classes from a year or two ago. These niggas can't fight their way on a Born Legacy. There's certain niggas that when they get on a Born Legacy, they be at the bottom of the card and act like they fucking achieved the world, and they don't even really be like that, you know what I'm saying? So when they get mad, when the media says, I don't see this person being on Summer Madness, I don't see this person being on the volume, it's because we here, we watch this shit every day. Just because they throw you a little couple crumbs Every couple years does not mean that you're being elevated like a superstar. A nigga like Easy the Black Captain is being elevated like a superstar. This nigga went from Ultimate Madness, didn't even win it, but he had one of the better battles in it. Straight to volume. You know what I'm saying? Like, Born Legacy, Danny Myers, Fire Battle, volume. If he do his thing up here, he not coming back down there. This nigga's not coming back down there. He's not going to be back down here he's not coming back downstairs for you niggas unless he loot if he gets smoked or some shit like that then you'll see him come have to come back down. when you lose and shit you got to come back and battle subsidiary talent like unfortunately like the saga will have to do i just watched chris and bias stock drop blog yesterday um salute to chris and bias and everything that he does he gave us credit for you know being um some of the best recappers well the best me and showtime sp the best bar for bar battle breakdown guys in this shit who else? Uh, Butterfly, definitely Showtime, SP. I fuck with them. They break down battles the best. Let's don't get it messed up. I know I'm Chris Unbiased. Nobody breaks down battles like Showtime and Bada. So salute to them for that. And um, I don't really like, I don't watch other breakdowns because I like to keep ours authentic. And I'm going to get back to the end of the topic, but you know, y'all watching anyway. So I only watch our recaps. I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? That's just, with all fairness, salute to everybody that does them. But, you know, for somebody of his legendary status to say that we're the best ones doing it. Not the one of the best. The best. Right here. Um, that means a lot. And that's a lot for my man Showtime SP because um, he came on a couple of years or two ago. And now he's one of, considered one of the best doing this shit. I always felt that way, but I didn't know. Salute to Chris Unbiased. But um, back to uh, Calico. Saying yo, he's the real voice of the streets, and um, he might have beat T Top. <laughs> so this nigga Calico is wild, yo. He be he, he don't give a, he don't give no fuck about nothing. Like he gonna ruffle feathers, he gonna make people mad, he gonna talk his shit. He was like, why would I be scared to battle T Top when I'm gonna slap the shit out of him? <laughs> yo, somebody gotta get with Calico, man. This shit is too crazy, yo. 2021, the end of this year. Battle rapping getting lit, dog. Like, I don't want no issue. I don't got no problem with nobody. I don't mention none of these niggas unless it's in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this shit is lit. Whew. Other than that, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. I'm gone. I ain't got no problems with no motherfucking battle rappers. Not no real ones. You know, after I battle with them, so they don't be worth the money that they used to be worth no more. So it's all business. I totally understand. You know what I'm saying? But why they got to slander me while they do their job? They try to make it seem like I'm scared of T-Top or something. A nigga who bowling balled on the stage when it was go time.
How the fuck am I scared to battle? I slapped the boy. How I'm scared to battle him? And I slapped the shit out of him. T-Top cool, though. Like, I never... T-Top cool, bro. T-Top is like a cool guy. He don't want no problems. He want everything to be cool. And there's nothing wrong with none of this. That's how you're supposed to be. Why y'all acting like I'm scared of him, though? I ain't scared of nobody, bro. Yeah, like, T-Top down there trying to get a rematch to, like, try to make it seem like he can he compete. And he already lost, man. He falling all over the stage, man. That's an L, bro. Yeah, Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> He's really running. They really running. They know we ain't about to shoot them or nothing. It's just supposed to be like, well, let's knuckle up since y'all want to do all of that extra shit. Come on, let's knuckle up. Yeah, they tried to bully us and ran, bro. I never saw no shit like that in my life. These is grown men. Put it like this. Every nigga, like, in battle rap, they try to make niggas younger in battle rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you've been here longer than them, you older than them. No. Yeah. Oh. Every nigga on that stage was older than me. I was yeah. the youngest nigga in that battle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 30. Yeah. Briz, Mook, and Top is older than me. Oh, it's like y'all never been in a fight. Y'all, y'all, like y'all never been in a fight. Like, Y'all make me feel bad. I don't even, bro, the, the, the footage is cringeworthy, G. Like, I don't even like looking at that shit, man. I can't even look at the, the video. I mean, just to even get on the, on the net and then get to send somebody. Bishop, somebody scared you what something. up, nigga? Somebody scared of you, T-Top? Yeah. Come on, How somebody scared of T-Top? How you gonna call me a, uh, what did he just call me? A sucker. How you gonna call me a sucker in the trailer, bro? I ain't even fucking with y'all. I ain't even said nothing about T topping them. I be trolling other niggas on the, on Twitter and shit. I ain't said nothing about no goddamn T top. I ain't even asked to battle T top. I've been in negotiation for all this time. Before I battled Verb, I've been in negotiations for Geechee. They done gave me Verb. They done tried to give me a girl. They don't even talk about that part of the negotiation that I told them. Click and change my number on them. Yeah. Cause they keep asking me to battle a girl. I changed my number on them. I have DMs in my phone right now saying, send us your number, Cal, with exclamation marks, man. I bro, I, I mean, I'm not battling a girl. T top a puppet, man. And I'm not battling T Top. Yeah. Like T Top is But we they got easy to block, Kevin. That's what we they talk about and the URL had the tough task of finding a new opponent. How the fuck is that a tough task to get somebody to battle T-Top? That's not a tough task at all. No, it's a tough task to get Calico to battle T-Top in two weeks for the price y'all want to give him. T-Top is no. still trying to give his, uh, his, his career off the market. They called that nigga the juggernaut. In the fucking trailer, they said, battle rap's veteran. In the juggernaut uh, of battle rap. <laughs> battle rap's juggernaut. That's what they said. Hey, damn, this nigga the juggernaut. I ain't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. How the fuck I ain't know? How the fuck I didn't know T Top was the juggernaut? I, I Somebody Beasley told me. They told me to my face. I don't, I didn't know that shit, bro. Bishop, come in here, man. Hold on. Bro, you know they got to crown somebody new, bro. They, the Tay Rock can't do it. The Briz can't do it. Yeah. It's left up to T-Top. He yeah, he got to gotta say the day. T-Top the like when Snoop stepped on the building. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know T-Top the last home.